Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share with you guys a peripheral device for a change. This is the Microsoft Touch Mouse, designed exclusively for Windows 7. Retailed originally for $79.99 last year, been around for quite a while now, so as a result the price has taken a plunge. You can pick this up from anywhere for, you know, from $30 to $50, and basically what the aim here is, the goal for Microsoft, is to change the way you use your mouse uh, with Windows 7, obviously. Do not try to use this mouse with any other operating system, uh, Mac, Android, whatever it may be, uh, Linux. You'll have no utility out of this device. It is a single-click surface. I want to tell you guys that in advance. And basically, the idea, again, is to optimize your abilities when interacting with Windows 7. Now, before I show you guys the mouse and open this thing up, uh, some things I want to point out. Uh, while it is a premium product and it is packaged in a premium way, no question, magnetic flap here to reveal the mouse, and I'll show you in a second. Blue Track technology is at play. If you're wondering what that is, essentially an equivalent to optical laser technology, you know, for your precision of your mouse's performance, essentially, it's the system that it's using to track your movements. Uh, Blue Track has, you know, done fairly well in the marketplace and does work across many different services like wood. Uh, carpeting, all different sorts of tables, metallic, uh, however it will not work on glass. Uh, a lot of you may not care, just want to let you guys know. It again is not a Bluetooth mouse, it does require a USB dongle which is included so your uh, PC will have to of course have a USB port but that shouldn't be a problem. And battery life is rated at somewhere between four and eight months at least by Microsoft standards. So we'll see if that's true as I go through the you know paces with it. And essentially there it is. Uh, pretty attractive looking mouse as you can see an array of touch sensors there for all the different gestures uh, that this device incorporates into your Windows 7 experience. Uh, some examples right here in the marketing it looks like. Yep. So it shows you one finger can be used to scroll, flick, or pan you know, in any direction. I believe you can also use the sides of the mouse to go forward and back at least in Internet Explorer. I'm not sure about other web browsers but I'll report back as I use the device. Two fingers can be used to enable Windows 7 snap feature which as you can see uh, from the picture is essentially you know, the ability to bring up two full pages side by side or applications, which is something I use on a regular basis as I'm sure many other Windows 7 users do as well. Finally, you've got the three finger gesture which will bring up uh, all of your active windows. Three fingers down will uh, bring you back to the desktop. So certainly, you know, really basic features though that I think do make your Windows 7 experience at least far more efficient. I know that it seems at you know face value I will get use out of this device. Now reviews out you know online have been pretty much a 50-50 split in terms of whether or not people love or hate this device I will say and that's why I'm kind of curious to see if it's really just a matter of learning curve and people not getting accustomed to using the touch gestures or maybe just practical discomfort. You know, I've read if you have really large hands, it is a fairly small mouse, so people are not in love with that. But, you know, it does look nice. Battery life, at least, is quoted at being pretty good. So I can't really see too many negatives yet, but, you know, it will take some time to get used to the fact that this is a single click, no left and right here, uh, like the traditional Logitech, you know, mice that I've been using for years and years and years. Uh, the Revolution series. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to get some experience with it. Uh, in terms of other things that come in here, let me just pop this open. Uh, as you can see, it's still strapped in there. I'm not going to take this apart right now. Uh, but you do have, of course, the two included AA batteries as well as that dongle that I was talking about. It is pretty small. And I believe there's also uh, a port at the bottom of the mouse to store that, which, you know, obviously is pretty much standard on all devices like that, uh, or like this, I should say. And this, of course, I would assume is the enclosure for the bottom of the mouse. So again, this is the Microsoft Touch Mouse designed exclusively for Windows 7. Look forward to reporting back to you guys functionality and just, you know, whether or not I think it's worth it even at its reduced, you know, sale price. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.